go into the dressing room with her. She was trying on clothes and, um, you know, we'd be just playing around and messing around and playing with like the pin cushions and all that little stuff. And, um, and you know, just casually we're sitting there one day with her in the dressing room and he turns to me and he says, so did you know those mannequins over there are real live dead people that they've dipped in wax? <laughs> and I was probably four or five and he just said it with the most serious voice and he le I led me on to believe I mean still to this day I cannot walk through Macy's thinking that there are eyes following me because I still have this image of these real life people being dipped in wax to be mannequins at Macy's. So my brother um, the worst thing that he ever did to me was we were walking down the railroad tracks and he decided, and there was a train coming, and he decided to play the, oh, my foot, got, my foot stuck. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jane, Jane, go, go get, go call mom, go call And I'm crying, crying. And he's just waiting for the train to come a little closer, a little closer. And then he goes, I'm just joking. <laughs> so, I don't have a brother story, but I do have a story about a close family member of whom me and my cousin left over in another neighbor's yard. We were going to get a basketball, and we didn't like him too much because he was three and we were five. So age difference. We were more mature. So, <laughs> we, uh, we go get the basketball, and he follows us, and then we run and we jump over the fence, and he can't, and we leave him there crying for like 20 minutes. We're like in my grandma's house just laughing so And then out of nowhere, the crying stops, and we just freak out. We're like, oh no, where is he? So we go back, and he's not there. We're like scared to death that my grandma is going to kill us. We go inside, and my grandma's like, where's Matthew? <laughs> <laughs> we left him in the neighbor's yard. And we started bawling and crying our eyes out. And then we look over in the table, and Matthew's sitting there eating ice cream. It's like the joke was on us. <laughs> Arr, we gotta find that bottle cap, lady! <laughs> Arr! <laughs> Ready all! <laughs> we need to cap that lid that you got there, Peg. <laughs> Arr, it's right! I might go look for your parrot. <laughs> Do that and see if the bottle cap is near the bird. I'm so tired of working on this damn treasure map. Arr. It's like it's never ending. We can't even find the first cap. <laughs> Start working on the next map. They're at a meeting of the painful stereotype society. <laughs> I found your parrot, and he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to <laughs> on your shoulder anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is news to me. He. <laughs> That's my only parrot. He likes to fly away. Thank you. He says. Don't think of the crackers. Don't say shiver me timbers anymore. It's not funny, and don't make him talk at parties. I think you've been training that bird to say what you wanted to say. He ate your cap, and he won't cough it up until you agree to stop with the abuse. <laughs> I'm just working on the damn map. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to think you don't understand the gravity of your situation, young man. You're pretty much screwed. I don't, I don't understand. I'm caught in a guillotine and you guys are just watching. Perhaps next time you want to be so quick on the, uh, the Irish jokes now, will you? Oh, come here. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Claw your eyes out. Get out while you can. You're gonna wax you. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs>
It's all my chocolate gold! Yeah. I don't, I don't think we're gonna be very rich with just chocolate. Maybe fatter, but I don't know about financially more well off. Well then, well then, let's just uh, sell it. You get like, what, twenty-one ninety-five for it? Uh, I doubt that, but I heard there's a talking parrot around that could probably use some of it for a good cause. Could a parrot can use coin and chocolate for a good cause? Apparently so. You can knock a pirate out straight in the eye and be done with him for life. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, for the parrot. For the parrot! <laughs> I've always wanted to learn from the master. You're sweating on me. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> It'll be okay. I'll, I'll massage your shoulder. You are going to kill the dead man already. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just want to impress you so badly. When, when I said you could come for career day, I meant you could stand behind the glass partition. <laughs> Behind the glass partition. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear me from in here! What, sweetie? I can hear everything. Uh, I no. hear You're talking about butterflies. You're the best body cutter-upper I've ever seen. <clears throat> okay. Hold the heart. Okay. Wow. What does that feel like? It feels like a heart? Yeah. Yeah, and, and, don't let it! That is disgusting! I'm too sorry. You are I, not paying any respect to the dead. I identify things by taste. <laughs> close your eyes. Close, close your eyes. Oh, okay. We're gonna play a game. <laughs> Stick out your tongue. <laughs> Sorry. 